Hi, I'm Karen Warner and I work for Learning Disability Wales. Imagine a world where there's a guy called John and he has a learning disability. He finds it difficult to read and understand very difficult information that he gets through his door or through his council or information on health. Um, the information that's used is in hard words, uh, it's in jargon, and there are a lot of words. For John, this would be like a wheelchair user who's trying to get into their local library but only has steps and no ramp, so he can't access that library. So for John, without easy read information, it's like denying him the access that he needs. So instead of information empowering him, it actually is a huge barrier for him. There is legislation as well that I think organisations may know of, which allows him to have a legal right to information that he can understand. This includes the Disability Discrimination Act and the Equality Act. Hi, I'm Yvonne Boxall and I work for All Worlds People First. Accessible information is really important to our members, people with learning disabilities. Without good information, they don't get to know about their rights, they don't get to know about services and you can't make choices without information. It is known that about 8 out of 10 people with learning disabilities are unable to read, so that number of people you know, are not able to get the information that they need. Accessible information doesn't just include easy read. It can also include video, audio, and also interactive multimedia, such as an interactive DVD. Hi, my name is Ellie Griffiths. I work for North Wales Advocacy as an advocate across the counties of Gwynedd and Lindsmore. We um, attend the local planning group within Gwynedd. We support clients who attend that group. However, I think the clients feel the language is difficult to understand and it needs to be more service user friendly. It's important to remember that when producing easy read information, um, the organisations need to consider the needs of Welsh speakers. So as part of the project, we're actually producing some guidelines for Welsh translators to make sure that, that the information that they translate goes into Easy Read Welsh as well. I sat in the other interview and I couldn't understand it because it's all in words. Information should be given to the people in their own language. Easy Read contains sentences that are short. Uh, the sentences often contain one idea per sentence rather than several. The words that are used are easy to understand. No difficult words, no jargon, and no abstract terms. Often with Easy Read, um, some of the detail is left out perhaps from an original document, so it only contains information that somebody really needs to know. There's often photos or graphics that perhaps go with each sentence to show exactly what the meaning of the words are. Sometimes where there are difficult words and there are terms, it's important to put them down but then explain what they mean. Make sure the words are clear to make sure you can see the letters really, not small letters and not words that put together like squash, like sardines, sandwich and make sure there are no jargon. The message for people who write information is people with learning disabilities need information that is clear, short and in everyday language. Remember the audience that you're writing it for and give the information that they need, nothing more, nothing less, in a way that they can understand. Keep it basic so people with learning difficulty can understand what it is they're seeing, understand what the information is saying, so there's no hiccup. The key to producing easy read information is to include in the process the person that the information is for. Keep it plain, get it right, keep it clear. It's not really rocket science but it's good for everybody. If we can't understand the information then we could end up losing our jobs, health and benefits. <laughs>